What everybody means you want to get your money? Get up, get up, get up. Ah! I hear a lot of people say, I'm embrace my truth. I'm embrace what appeals to me. I'm not really feeling that right now. Let me tell you something about your truth, all right? Because I've been there, all right? Let me tell you something about your truth. Your truth, the one that you so hold deep to, is usually made up of your emotions, your experiences, your knowledge, your maturity, and your lack of humility. Because the real truth is for the challenge your emotions. It's for the challenge, you know, um, what you learn from your experiences based upon how much you mature since that time. The truth, the actual truth, the truth about the gospel, the truth about Almighty God, you know, and how he talks about unforgiveness and how he talks about we're supposed to love people and how he talks about we're supposed to be basically servants. We're supposed to be basically, you know, footmans for people. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to display his spirit, the fruits of the spirit. That's the truth. But see, a lot of people don't want to embrace the truth because they want to hold on to pride it's it's a because that truth is gonna make you come down you know that's why the bible says that the exalted will be humble and the humble will be exalted the the bible flips that because it talks about the actual truth we have to embrace it we all do we all do at some point in time but i'm just trying to get y'all to understand that come come off your high horse you know stop thinking that you know everything stop thinking that you know that because that's probably why you're stuck in that same spot because you keep embracing your truth and actual truth is what have you elevated you, you know the old folks always say the truth set you free. So your truth is setting you in bondage. Hope you're having a blessed day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, take a bath. All that good stuff. G Y get your money. Get up, get up, get up.